uh, we are uh, just about two minutes away from starting. Uh, so if, um, if you're able to grab your seats, uh, we're going to pray and then we'll go to our presenter who is at the moment on the phone. Um, unfortunately, difficult, difficulties in connecting at the moment. So, uh, so uh, if it's possible, grab your seats uh, at the same time. Uh, very well, welcome to all of you for joining this e-award um, program uh, done by British Union Conference. We want to welcome everybody from the uh, British Union, uh, uh, but also many, many guests which are coming from all around the world. Uh, just in the previous session, we had people from United States, we had people from United Arab Emirates, we had people from uh, Holland and many other places. And so we welcome you all. This is uh, designed for us to be able to help our adventurers learn in this time and when we are under lockdown. So thank you all for joining. Uh, my name is Pastor Dejan Stojkovic, British Union Conference Adventure and Pathfinder Director. And um, this uh, award is going to be taught by Dion Weeks. So let us, let us pray and we're going to start. So let's bow our heads. Dear God, we want to thank you for every single adventure we have with us here right now. For every adventure which uh, still doesn't know about this program, we hope they'll be able to learn, join, and as well um, uh, grow in you, Jesus. We want you uh, to uh, pour your Holy Spirit on all of us. Uh, touch our hearts and minds, dear God. And as we're learning about um, Anne's uh, award today, uh, we are praying that in all of this, dear God, um, we can learn more about you and how you created this beautiful world. We want to say, dear God, thank you so much for Dion, uh, who is our presenter. And uh, we just want to say, dear Jesus, please help us uh, so we can achieve this award uh, in your name. Uh, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, so here we are. Uh, so from now on, uh, Dion will be talking to the phone in case you're wondering why the sound is coming from me. But uh, it's because I have her on the phone. So Dion, it is your time. Hello, boys and girls, and hello, parents, and well wishes all around. Uh, welcome to the Ant Award. The first requirement that we have to consider is, well, what really is an ant? Ants are social insects known for working hard and being strong. What do we mean by social insects? Well, ants look after each other. They help each other, they encourage each other, they organize each other, they think ahead, they're persistent, they're driven by purpose. And for this, they work hard at it, and they're strong when they're working together. Uh, Dion, so your... uh, just before you continue, uh, would you be able to tell us a little bit about you, uh, just so people uh, in the room would know who is the person who is presenting for them, if that's right. Would you be able to say a few words? Uh, 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 what is Dion Weeks doing and the way you're based, if that's right? Okay. I currently am a director over in uh, Dagnum, Dagnum Eagles. Uh, we're a pathfinder group, which um, quite visionary, and our name defines who we are. Um, I currently love working with children. I have formerly been a school business manager. I'm moving on to other things in my life. But having said that, um, my passion is to help to educate as much as I can young minds, young visionaries, and young leaders. And I am very intrigued with the ant. I, I find the ant a very interesting creature, and hence I would like to share what I have learned from the ant for you guys to consider. Excellent. What you can do from the end. Excellent. So, Dion, we're going to uh, go now to uh, sharing of the screen just to tell you because you can't see it, uh, what, uh, what we have at the moment. Uh, we have our first screen, uh, Ant Award, and uh, we're going to now um, hopefully be able to move on. Uh, let, me, let me see. Here it is. Um, all right, here, here, here we are. So, the requirement number one is the question which you just posed to all of us, and that is uh, what is Ant? Uh, ant? Uh, so, uh, so, so now we are ready for the next slide. Uh, you tell us, Dion, uh, uh, what is next. Okay, so what is an ant? As I said before, ants are social insects. Yes. They're known for working hard and being strong. Now it's your turn in the home for you to think, what is an ant? Can you fill in the blanks? 
All right, we're going to stop there for a second. So uh, there is a, a screen uh, um, which you can all see. Uh, the first question is, what is an ant? Uh, uh, so if it's possible, uh, please take a, a piece of paper and write it down. Ants are, and there are a few blanks there. We'll give you a couple of seconds uh, to do this. So uh, what is an ant? And please fill the blanks. Dion, we're going to just give them maybe about 10 seconds. Uh, hopefully, they can uh, fill this out. If not, do uh, not just a second. We'll give you a countdown. We can give a countdown. Yeah, uh, we'll do a countdown. Okay, okay let me, let's go. 10? Five. Oh, five. Okay, five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Blast off. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, so ants are. Ants are. The on social insects. Yes. Known for working hard and being strong. Being strong. Thank you so much for that. High okay. five. Well done. Our next. Uh, requirement what does the Bible say the basic instructions before leaving earth say about ants in Proverbs 30 verses 24 to 25 all right uh, so uh, Next thing. Mm, what uh, do you think they are all right so uh, uh, again we would need assistance of of the parents and guardians if it's possible uh, let's help our adventurers find the uh, book of Proverbs uh, chapter 30 was 24 to 25 uh, so if it's possible uh, let's go with the proverbs uh, chapter 30 24 to 25 if you're able and that, if you that they can do at home in their own time but in the interest of time okay. i'll read it all right let's do it there are four things one two three four things which are little on the earth just like our children they're little but they'll grow up to be big one day but they're exceedingly wise. And we hope for our children to be exceedingly wise. Yes. The ants are a people not strong, just like children. They're small. They may not be strong now. Yet, they can be taught how to prepare. Yes. And they can prepare through their food in the summer. The scripture says, the ants prepare their food in the summer. So, we can prepare our children to memorize, to learn, so that when they get older, in their summer months, so to speak, they too can be strong. So, now, Dion, just to let you know where we are at the moment, we are on a requirement 2A. It says, your turn. What does the Bible say about and in Proverbs? So, guys, you heard what the Bible says, and that is part of your requirement. So, here it is, the uh, blanks are there. He says, fill up the blanks using the word, uh, uh, so, uh, so you would be able to do this. Uh, if you uh, are worried that you need to copy all of this, you don't because this PowerPoint presentation is available on our website, which we'll be sharing with you later on. So, Dion, uh, at the moment, uh, we are... Um, yeah, filling we... in the blanks. Yes. Okay, let's see how they've done so far, Dion. Let's see. Let's okay. check. Uh, so, if, right. it's, if it's possible, read the verse 24. Uh, so, Proverbs 30, uh, 24 to 25. What does it say there? It says there... There are four things which are little on the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. That's right. The ants are a people, not strong, yet they prepare their food in the summer. That's the answer. Well yes. done. High five. High five. That's right. Uh, we only do internet high fives because of the coronavirus. <laughs> Just to let Correct. you know, guys. Uh, so we're going to go next. We are now requirement 2B, and it says learn and explain Proverbs 6.6. 6. Dion, what do we need to say okay. about this? Okay, let's see. When we're learning something, we can learn through different ways. Um, there's, we could learn through, I'll say, puzzles, Lego, stones, musical cups, whatever. So let's see what you've got to show them. Have you got word scramble? Dian, to quickly help these children to learn. I unfortunately don't have the word scramble, so we will have to. Okay, I'll, I'll 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 pretend we have a word scramble. Okay. So in the word scramble, you may have words like sluggard, you, wise, ant, go, ways, consider, her, be, and to, different words all jumbled up. Yes. When you unscramble that. Yes. You could do that by actually putting these different words on a bit of paper yes and then cutting it up and then structuring it in a way that makes sense 
This That's is... how we unscramble the word. And when we unscramble the word, well done. Well done. For so, those who got it. Yes. It becomes, go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Well done. So for well everybody... Fun. Uh, for everybody who is watching the screen now on Facebook and Zoom, you'll be able to see those words cut on a piece of paper. And uh, this is how you can play the game. And this is how it would look like when it is unscrambled. So here it is. Dion, we managed to show that uh, virtually. And again, becomes an internet high five for the safety reasons. Now, uh, with Dion, we are, on a, we are on a musical cut. Man- okay, let's go to the musical cut. Now, there are times when you may not have a uh, lot for the kids to do and you just want them to learn something because they're just eager to learn. And so what we could do is just turn some cups upside down, put the same words on it all over the place. Kids just like activity. They just like to, you know, solve problems. Yes. And um, that's why we need them for leaders for the future to solve our problems or to solve the problems that are in this world. That's so right. when we mix it all up, we could have it possible like... And you go sluggard and be her to the ways wise consider. Yes. Or whichever way you want to read it. But when you play musical cups, you can actually have the music of the and go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. And you could say, possibly, the ants go marching one by one, sabbath, hurrah. It depends on how you want to sing it. You right. may have songs played in the background and you can move the cups. When you stop the music, hopefully, we should be closer to getting it right. That's right. So in getting it right to learn it quickly, I challenge you all out there to try this and see how it goes. And once you get it all together, the answer should look like this. Have you got that, Diane? Uh, we have it. It says, go to the... Well, uh, you read it. You know. Oh, right. Go to the end, you slugger. I didn't want to call the end a slugger. I didn't want to call you guys a <laughs> slugger. But it's just a text, though, right? It's just, just part of the activity. So consider her ways and be wise. Thank you. Okay, so that's another way we could actually learn. High five. Well done, guys. You, you're on top of this. Very good. Um, now, let's go to the next one, Diane. Uh, music hey, this was... Okay, sorry, sorry. We are, uh, uh, we are, um, uh, we are now on, uh, on a, a hopscotch activity, which is a idea for everybody who is at home in case you have it. This is, you also can play the game when it comes to uh, the, uh, 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 what Dion just mentioned. Okay, here's another activity. Thank you, Dion, for, for yeah. sharing and showing us. Now, clearly you can see the word and for those who are visual and to see this. Yes. Uh, it's spelled out there, but actually, when I did this, it's meant ants, because um, I wanted the little feet to be like the different ants falling one after the other. Yes. But for the purpose of just giving the illustration, um, the blanks are where um, it's like a hopscotch. If, if you've got a garden, yes. uh, for those who have a garden, you can actually use chalk to just draw these little um, bits. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. Yes. And you can write the words in, and or you could just have them blank and um, put a number in it. And each yes. number could relate to a um, different phrase of the text that you're trying to teach. So when you're doing exercises for your children outside, away from just going outside to do star jumps and all these different things. They can actually do a hopscotch learning. Dion, and just to take you now, we are on a slide where there is a two lines. Uh, it says Proverbs 6.6, 6, and it is explained. There is an ant on one side and slug it on another. Tell us a little bit more about that slide. Okay, so that's where we start to explain. So when we start to explain this to our children, we can learn something about the ant. The ant are very wise creatures. The sluggish person is sometimes referred to as a sluggard. An ant can be likened to a person who is hardworking compared to someone who may be lazy, not really want to work at all. The ant also is a preserver. It preserves, it protects, it provides and prepares. Whereas a sluggard or some of the sluggard behavior just dislikes working, lazy, and consequently foolish, really, because it's as if they like idleness. They hate work, yep. whereas the ant cooperates and they're diligent at it. And the sluggard, ah, oh, I know it all, ah, oh, don't have to bother, or maybe pessimistic. 
making excuses. Ah, oh, I'll do this tomorrow. I'll do this another time. Whereas the ant takes responsibility and takes the in initiative to make things happen. They don't make a molehill out of nothing. They actually do make a molehill to protect a whole colony where they live. Yes. But the sluggard, they don't finish things. They start. And they find it difficult to learn from their mistakes. The ant enjoys learning and learns from their mistake. Dion, if it's Dion. possible, if it's possible, Dion, for you, would you once again just quickly repeat uh, what, uh, what are the characters of the ant? So, number one, they're wise. Yes, the ant, yeah. they're wise. They're wise because I just, some of their actions, most of their actions, are to help others yes and in helping others they're helping themselves uh, I, I just i was just thinking if it's possible just to go through this quickly so ants are okay. wise what else so ants are wise they are hard-working people uh, insects i should say yep. they're preservers they preserve their colony where they yep. live they look after each other they cooperate with each other to make things happen diligently and responsibly they take the initiative and they enjoy learning excellent Excellent. So that's what we, that is what is important to us uh, uh, when it comes to this lesson. The next uh, slide we are on is the slide uh, you showed me earlier, and that was a requirement to be where the ants are carrying the branch. Tell us a little bit more about that. Okay. Here we see where the ants are not foolish. They need to get over the sluggish behavior. Yes. So where someone chooses to stay and block their path will be obstructive, they find a way around it. And that's what I believe the ants is teaching us, that no obstacle is too big that they can't get around. That's They're right. organized, and so they've organized themselves to get around it. They think ahead, so they cross the, the, the valley or, or get over the yes. sluggish behavior. Not only that, they're working as a team, and they're persistently driven by purpose. And as a result, we can go to the ants. Yes. Dion. And the slugger sitting underneath can go to the yeah. ant to learn and consider her ways and the ones. Uh, Dion, would you mind reading for us Proverbs 6, 6 to 9? Yes, it says, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? Will you get up from your sleep? I think there's a lot to learn from yes. the so well we Well done. We are well done to everybody. Right. Thank you, Dion, for that. We're going to the requirement number three. Tell us more. Right. Now, how do ants communicate? Let's see. Let's put our hands together and just rub them together. Can you hear that sound? Rub them as hard as you can. To all our listeners and especially the children. Yes. That's exactly the sound when an ant rubs two hard parts of their abdomen together, it makes a scraping sound. If you're still rubbing your hands together, you'll hear that scraping sound. Yes, there. That's a way of communicating to another ant that there is food somewhere but I'll tell you more about that. Or there's danger somewhere, and I'll tell you about that too. And or just, how you doing? The By the way... Uh, when it comes to, uh, there is a slide on number point two which says that ants high five. How is that possible? It is high five when they, let's pretend. For those out there listening, I would like you to slap your hands together like a high five. Have you done that? Well done. Communication is crucial to the survival of ants. So when ants are passing each other, they tend to high-five each other with their antennas. And just like when they may not know what's the unknown, they high-five each other. When they bump into each other, they high-five each other and let each other know there's danger down there or there is uh, someone in our territory. And all then right. they all come together and communicate how they're going to sort that problem out. In the same way, we can high-five ourselves and for others yes. 
by clasping our hands and pointing upwards. Yes. As one writer once says, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from hence cometh my help. help. And, now and so young. sometimes in praying, we yes. can get help. That is right. To communicate. That's we right. can communicate to God in prayer. As one country did when they were doing the coronavirus, the island of Jamaica, they called the entire country to pray. Yes. And so in this moment in time, we too, as adventurers, as children in the UK and around the world, can pray That's right. for those who have been affected by this pandemic. Now, uh, Dion, uh, we came to the screen where it says, and sense. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. It's also having a sense of humor. Yes. <laughs> because looking at the screen, you can see a molehill, not quite a molehill, but they have a little watchtower. Yes. Then you've got others looking on and wondering what on earth is happening. But what I can tell you, Diane, and to all our listeners out there, ants are experts at track and trail. And they're experts because they have a language of communication. And the key language of communication is through ant sense. Now, there's a big word out there called pharaons. The pharaons is like the track and the trail of scent that ants uses to uh, communicate how they're attracted to each other. Uh -huh. Any alarm? Hey, this place is going to be invaded with other uh, insects. Let's move out of here. So they, they raise the alarm and they call their friends who are hunting, all the workers who are looking for food, come and help us. And they identify all the cars and they bring the soldier ants together and they'll bring the, the, the fire ants together and they'll bring all the different working ants together and the different types of ants, army ants, the slave ants, the honeycomb ants, the leaf cutters, and everyone will come together. Excellent. Doesn't matter who. What about the queen? And the queen, well, she's in charge. She is resident in her palace and she actually is also useful in sending out these pheromones the answers and she uses this way of communicating to all her daughters so that they stop laying eggs and in a sense they become infertile they can't have eggs and if they do they don't live yes because she dominates she rivals every queen she's queen above all queens yes so her daughters cannot rival her to become queen. So the queen determines how many will be born as soldiers and how many will be born with their colony to be male or female. All right. So the queen plays a very vital role. She produces all the babies, all the eggs, and she has her worker ants, which are normally females, most of them, looking after them. So she teaches them how to nurture and to care. Yet she lives in a very... Uh, predominant position whereby she um, exerts her influence over the management of this. So if you take me down to slide number, another slide that says, how do ants communicate? I just want to demonstrate by showing the ABCDs on the screen, the unique scent of trail, of the trail of the ant, um, which marks where the food is. Are we there, Diane? Uh, so we are on the slide where there is a little map. Uh, 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 there is an ant. Uh, it says requirement three, how do ants communicate? And there is a A, B, D, a C area and the little map as the ants move around. Fantastic. So if you look at that map, as I said to you earlier, to our listeners, ants are experts at track and trail. They make the best trails out there and they never get lost. And they're not very good at seeing things like us. Their sights are not as sharp as ours. So they're dependent on the scent, the marking of that trail, especially where they need to go and find food for their comrades to take home. They use the scent of their ants. And as I said to you, it's called yes. thrones. And this scent is used to mark the territory to make sure that they don't endanger each other. Yes. And that's why you see they're systematically marching in order, one behind the other, 
following the scent, as the little picture shows, the three ants with the leaves. They kind of leaves to help to feed other ants within their colony, because yes. within there, there's a sugar content within the leaf that they sometimes require. And within there, there may be other healing aspects within the leaf that's been created to help them yes. as part of their nursery. So they work together and they think they, they think together and as a result of they, they are able to help each other in providing and leading and guiding safely now what they eat and what they drink and how they stay safe. A bit like the corona situation. Let me ask you, Diana, we're coming to a slide where it says your turn. How do ants communicate? So would you be able to tell us in a few words how the ants communicate? So which are the main ways? So there's three things in which we need to remember how ants communicate. One, through the pherones, which is the scent. Okay. I'll spell it. P-H-E-R-O-M-O-N-E-S. Pherones. Okay. Then by sound. Let's rub our hands together. By sound? Yeah. Okay. And by touch. Let's do a high five. And a high well done. So three things. You go to the next slide. I'll visually show you what I meant. All right. My scent, which is like mapping out where we should go. We are. And we we passed that slide already. So uh, um, so uh, uh, we just. Okay. So you, we'll look at your. <laughs> we just. Uh, I'm on a slide which says ants communicate with each other using the word you just said and spelled P H E R O M O N E S and sound yeah. and touch. So that's where we are at the moment. Uh, we're going to go well for the next done. time. That's a well done. Five. That's right. Now, requirement four, Dion, what is happening there? Right. There are four main parts to the body of the night. Can anyone guess? Okay. Okay. I will tell you. You may have worksheets or you may not have worksheets. There should be a word bank, Dion, where we have the head, the thorax, the abdomen, and then kind of a big word, but it has ant in it. So we have the ant today. So we have a, we on a slide where it says name, uh, four main uh, body parts of the ant. So that's where we are at the moment. The little ant drawn at the bottom. Right. So I'll give you a bit of a moment, but I think we can move on. All right. No problem at all. You can see the lovely smile yes. From, yes, the, yes. from the head of the animal, from the insect, sorry. We are on the next and slide the, at the moment. So we're now into the next slide, which should hopefully be ex Explicitly clear. That's right. The, it, the abdomen is a dark area. That's right. A, yeah. The thorax is the middle bit of the ant, and the head is quite clear with a little oh. eye looking on. Yep. And the antennas are the little things poking out at the front. That's right. Now, if you just, for the children who are at home, they could just stretch their hands out and didn't and shake them in the middle or shake them ahead of them. Then that's the antenna. Let's pretend you're an ant. So let's pretend. All right. Well uh, done. Give yourself a clap. <laughs> Let's move on, Diane. Excellent. All right, high five. Well done, guys. Now, what do ants use their jaws to do? Any guesses, Diane? Uh, give me a second. I have a little bit of problem here. So here it is. Uh, so the, uh, the requirement 5A, what do ants use their jaw to do? It's a question. Right. Now, ants actually has two strong jaws. We call them the mandibles. To make it simple, we just call them drawers. J A W S, drawers. They're used to carry food, also to get around objects. And to the older children, they manipulate around the objects. They also use it to make their home comfortable. To the oldest children out there, they construct their nests and they build their homes. And some homes that we have in our parts of the world may have gates or doors. Yes. Well, they have a way of putting the soldier ant to defend their homes. Yes. And ants defend and attack themselves by biting mm, out, yep. you may sometimes say. And in many species, they may sting. And whilst they sting with that bite, they spray into that opening that they have cleansed into your physical, if, they, if you've ever received an ant or been ant bitten before, some formic acid. They spray some chemicals, and then that has a sting, itchy uh, right. feeling. So now, we are for those 
for those children out there, I just want you to sort of scratch yourself, pretending you've got an ant, you've been ant bitten. Never mind. That too will go. So, All right, Jen, what next do you next, want? Ne next slide. Uh, so, okay. Uh, uh, so we just talked about the ant head, two strong jaws, explain all of that. Uh, so there is a, uh, it's your turn. What do ant uses their jaw for? It is about our young people, adventurers, okay. uh, filling up that for themselves. Because we are already 30 minutes into our session and we, we maybe have about 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to jump over that uh, so that actually uh, young people can fill it up <laughs> later on for themselves because this PowerPoint is available for everybody to download after uh, and we will be posting the link on the uh, Facebook page, PUC Facebook page. Uh, so, um, okay. so, so here it right is. So We're go going it, it, to, just can say. Do you want to make a summary? Uh, so we are now on 5B at the moment. What do ants have uh, uh, hooked claws is a question. Why the, okay. yes. Let's, let's move a bit quickly. Ants have hooked claws at the end of each leg which helps them to climb. So those children out there, if you pretend to climb for me, well done. And they're also to hang on to services. So where you are, just hold on to something and hang on and pretend to be an ant. Well done. Excellent. Let's move on. So what do ants so, have hooked for? We answered that question. So the turn is, of course, for them, them to answer it. Uh, if you have a paper, maybe you can write it down. You got the answer from Dion Weeks. You heard about, it is about uh, climbing. And uh, again, here comes the fill the blanks section, and and you will be able to do that as you go through this PowerPoint presentation yourself. So uh, again, Dion, that is a section on the hooked uh, uh, clothes. Uh, Let's one. move along to the uh, requirement six. Now this one, for the listeners out there, we won't be doing this online, but we're gonna let you do this at home, where you will observe a group of ants in its colony, and keep a log of their activity for every 10 minutes. You may want to watch a script over and over again. At the end of this presentation, there'll be some references which you can actually go to and watch in your own time after this presentation. So take a minute to note what happens within the two minutes of watching, then go back again. That'll make another four minutes. You may notice something else. And then go back another two minutes and so on and so forth. Excellent. So once you've done all of that, I'll just show you uh, a way in which you can log all of this. Um, are we there yet? Um, uh, Dan, so I'm on, table? Uh, I'm on requirement 6B, the table of two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, and 10 minutes. Uh, so that, Fantastic. Yes. And then we move on to showing them the table, Dan, and also where they can actually go and watch uh, this uh, colony. Uh, so you are suggesting that if, if there is a colony close by, uh, which does not require you to leave your home. We hope you have one in the garden. If you don't, maybe uh, maybe uh, some YouTube links will help in the end. But reality is that uh, there is that timetable that you can actually look for two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, and just uh, notice what's happening and uh, and record it. We are now on the requirement seven. Dion, how many requirements we have for this award? Right, we're about finishing up, would you believe it? Wow. So let's discuss and list 10 things we can learn. Lessons for life from the end. Okay. We can, they basically can help us to appreciate how fearfully and wonderfully we have been made. Yes. And as a result, their work is a work of art. Yes. But for some people, it's a work of destruction. It depends on how you're looking at it. Yes. What we do know is that each ant has its position and work. Yes. They show some amazing amount of teamwork. They're not lazy. They trust one another. They get ready for winter. They're always ready, always moving fast. They're diligent, hardworking. They're focused. As I said before, they're persistent. Each ant actually bears its own burden. The question is, do we bear our own burden? Okay. They even help each other. Are we always helpful? when necessary or if necessary. Ants come together to plan and to receive instructions. I know sometimes it's not easy, especially like now, to come together and plan, but hey, we're communicating in the various ways. Even now, digitally, we're communicating. And ants actually can regroup. And the reason why we communicate, the reason why we relate one to another is because we need community. 
Yes. And as a result, if we don't have that, sometimes when we're isolated, sadly, we can die. Mentally, we're not stimulated, we can die. I want to believe that there's a better way out of this. Yes. But to look at it this way, we can have hopes for the end. We can think big, be organized, think ahead, even in these difficult times. Yes. We can persistently put our hands together and pray for our country, for our leaders. Yes. Uh, Dion, uh, just as we're coming to the end, uh, because we are now uh, 35 minutes into the session, is it possible just for you quickly to uh, give us the seven requirements that uh, you uh, that our adventures would need to do in order to achieve it? Uh, so, what is requirement number one? So, requirement number one is what is an ant? It's requirement the, number two. Yeah. So, if I if I should just recap, yeah. um, requirement number one: what is an ant? So, we need to just quickly put our definitions there, as we have done in the presentation. Understand also. Um, in requirement number two, um, the explanation of Proverbs 6, verse 6, as well as also learning it as well, but also in terms of what does the Bible say about the ants? We've talked a lot about that, that there are four things in which they are little on the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. And you just need to make note of that. Yes. Um, if you quickly move to uh, four, you, you, um, you, you are the one who is reading it, so you just go any pace you want. Yeah. So what is... The, we go, and, so we, comment number four is where we need to understand the main body parts of the ant. Okay. Which is, in, 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 in the summary, the abdomen, the thorax, the head, and the antennae. All right. Then we also have, what do ants use their jaws to do? Well, primarily to carry food, build a nest, get around objects, cut through things so they can get it by and defend their territory and themselves, as well as their hook jaws are used to help them hold on to things, to climb, and also to help them to get by. Yes. Just like our own legs get us by. Yep. And so when we observe the ants, there are various things we can learn from the ants. And also, one of the important things I love for you guys is to make a, a craft. Um, if you just share with them the ants, sort of things that they could do yep. um, in making a craft, there's several things. I made a ginger... I made a ginger ant. Okay, all right. <laughs> I don't know if you got that there, but for those who may not be able to go out and get stuff to make a craft, you can actually use whatever you have in your home. I, yes. I, from my ginger ant, I use uh, a bit of ginger, uh, a bit of foil, and I use the foil to twist it over to make my legs, uh, make the legs of the, uh, the ant. Excellent. And also some pins and um, to make the ant and I. So Very you can good. be creative, make it whatever you want. You can draw it by hand, or you could you know, cut out a few things, put a few eyes in there, you may not be able to go and get the, the, the cleaners, the tube cleaners yes. to make the little curly uh, antennas that I've shown you, but whatever you have. What is the next fun. What is the next requirement, Dion? Just to summarize for the end. So, the last thing on our agenda is to learn a song. The song? At home. And, learn, and that song that I was suggesting was they could learn to count using the Ansgar marching one by one. Two by two, three by three, four by four, and so on. Just learning, teaching children how to count All right. as they um, learn the song, as well as teaching how to march and keep active, as well as do their exercises to it. Exactly. And they can do that through the uh, musical cups that we shared with them earlier, Diane. And I think that's it. High five. High five. And now we're on to the references. Excellent. So, so there, are, there are the references. If you could show them the references, that'd be great for uh, me. I'm going to try uh, to so find they can them. Go away and. Um, just go and see what the ants, these amazing so, creatures have to offer. Yeah, here it is. The requirements uh, for eight is the making craft. Uh, and and it, it, you can do it in any way you can. There is a, a ginger, there is foil, pens, everything else that you can be used to make a little ant. And um, uh, 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 that here it is. Uh, uh, Dion, we ju I'm just showing on the screen for everybody to see it. It looks a little bit scary. I need to say that. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I, I, oh, I saw a beautiful one made from paper. Uh, uh, let me just go back to that one. Um, uh, so, oh, maybe I can't. Oh, I made him. Oh, this is. Uh, let me just say, yes, from paper and egg, uh, egg cartons. You can use the egg cartons to make the ants out of it. Just a good idea for everybody who is at home and in lockdown, as we all are. Uh, Dion, uh, thank you so much for this. What I'm gonna do. Uh,